Steve, thank you. Also, this noontime developing news and a gas line rupture in the center of downtown Providence. Crews rushing to Dorrance Street shortly after 9 o'clock this morning. We want to check in with Eyewitness News reporter Kate Wall. She's live in Providence with more local coverage. Danielle, we're live at the intersection of Dorrance and Westminster Streets, and you can see construction crews are behind us as well as National Grid. National Grid is working to repair that line that a construction crew hit earlier this morning. I reached out to Cardi Construction, responsible for this, and they said they haven't been able to investigate yet to figure out what exactly went wrong. Now, during the time of everyone being evacuated, drivers were kept back a few blocks, but they're now able to drive to Dorrance at Fulton Street, so all around Kennedy Plaza. There's no, no danger to the public. Don't be startled if you see National Grid working at the intersection of Dorrance and Westminster Streets throughout the afternoon. Providence Fire says they'll also have crews downtown as the utility company repairs a 16-inch cast iron gas line ruptured by Cardi Construction Crew around 9.30 Thursday morning. This, the second gas leak prompting evacuations in Providence in less than a week. This weekend, construction workers hit a pressured gas line on Point Street, causing a medical building to be evacuated. There's been a lot of construction downtown. Um, but the gas lines are all pre-marked prior to construction, so... Uh, so how does this happen? You'd have to ask the construction company. Out of precaution, the four buildings surrounding the intersection were evacuated. Oh, we were open for business. We had customers sitting down having breakfast and had to get up and go somewhere else. Nico Bella's family restaurant owner Daniel Krenka said while it was an inconvenience for his business to be evacuated, he was glad everyone worked quickly to secure the buildings. Our main concern is to monitor for high readings of of natural gas and then evacuate all the civilians in the surrounding areas. And once we once we get our readings and uh, if we don't have any readings, we can re the civilians can return to their uh, their building. In about a half hour, the scene was cleared of a gas threat. Businesses were opened back up. Now, even though businesses have opened in this block, Nico Bella's owner just came over to us and said he unfortunately has to remain closed for the rest of today because of a loss of time to prep their food for tonight. The deputy fire chief also said if you smell mercaptan, which is the odorant they put in gas in this area, don't be alarmed. It's just all part of the process of them fixing that line. Live in Providence, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.